Hey everyone, I'm going to walk you through how you can earn your S'more badge. And this is specific for the uh, Fall 2017 sections of W200. Um, so hopefully you've already made your flyer on S'more, s'more.com. If you haven't, head over to s'more.com, create an account with your EDUC Gmail. Um, the requirements for this badge, you need to include pictures, links, or some type of media. Uh, and you can always click down here at the bottom to add stuff in. You would also need to include basic information about what you want to tell your students or parents about your classroom. So this can be the subject you're teaching. Uh, obviously this is all imaginary, thinking about your future classroom and what you want it to look like. Um, you can reference your own elementary or secondary school. You can reference your dream school that you'd like to work at. Uh, but talk about what your classroom will look like, what students should expect. We shared some examples in classes, so feel free to um, think back to those or ask for those examples also. Um, but just provide some, some information about what you expect your classroom to look like, what types of things you type, look, plan on doing, what students can look forward to during the year, um, anything along those lines. And the last part is include a QR code that links to this more letter. So I'm going to walk you through how to set that up. Once you've added in these first two bullet points, you'll want to hit Done Editing. And from there, you'll want to uh, share your newsletter. So this link that pops up right now at the top should do that. Uh, great way to test is you can always open an incognito tab and paste it in there. Just to make sure people don't have to log in to see what you've created. And we see it, so that's perfect. Um, so you're going to copy that link right at the top, and in a new tab, you're going to open a QR code generator. If you go to Google and type make a QR code or QR code generator, a number of options will pop up. I like this one that is www.qr-code-generator.com. If you've never worked with a QR code before, you've probably seen them around. They're these funny looking square things. Um, I'm going to paste that link I just copied right there to my S'more newsletter. I'm not going to change anything else. I'm just going to say create QR code. And this QR code will pop up here on the right. What this is, is essentially a visual link. So anyone with a QR code scanning app can scan this QR code and it will take them automatically to their newsletter, to the newsletter, or to whatever link it is. This can be really helpful for uh, getting people to certain websites quickly, especially when they're kind of long and complicated links like this. It's easier just to scan something and then the website pops up. So we'll work with these throughout the semester, um, but that's the general idea is it makes it easy to get people to a website. You're going to want to download this QR code. Um, you do not need to sign up for a pro account or a free account. It just says your download starts automatically in a few seconds. So we're just going to wait. There it is. Um, for me, it's a zip file. So you'll want to um, unzip that file. Um, on my computer, I just double click. If you're on a Windows, you might need to right click and say extract. It's called static QR code. Awesome. We're going to head back to our s'more flyer now. I'm going to say edit and then I'm going to add in an image from the bottom or a picture. Big photo. And then I'm going to just upload that uh, static QR code that I just unzipped. Boom! It's there. You can add some text around it that says uh, use the QR code below to uh, access the online version of this flyer. Something like that would be nice and friendly, but not required for this badge. Just in general, it's good practice to add an explanation for um, what it is people are scanning. Publishing those changes. And then this link is the one that you would submit on Canvas. If this is your first badge you are completing, then you would submit it on Canvas under badge number one. If you've already done the chatter picks badge, for example, then you would submit this under badge number two. Whatever number of badge this is for you, that's the link the, in Canvas, the link you'll submit it under. So that's it for this one. 
As always, let me know if you have any questions at all, and hope that was helpful in getting you started on your s'more badge.